Do not ever try to rush your healing process. I begin to a bag bag, counting up, got a lot of cheese. Bitches always on my bag bag, baby girl, you got a Yo, 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 it's your boy BJ from Bro Back in the mother friggin' building. Basically, this video is a. Oh, but before we begin, before we begin, you don't know now, you know. We got them new black, ice, white, and gray sweatsuits dropping. It's top and the bottom. On February 24th at 444. I, I posted a poll on Instagram. I said, yo, most votes. You know, I like to get, I like to get the. The the, the 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 supporters interacting with the merch and stuff like that because it's just it's cool to just do, do you get to pick when you get your, when you want your stuff. You know what I said? I think it's cool. So I made the support interact and they said they want the merch to drop February twenty fourth at four four four. So www.brofo444.com or Instagram at bro four four if you want to stay tuned and be there when it drops because it's gonna sell out fast. Today we're gonna talk about how to deal with heartbreak. You know, I feel like a lot of people always DM me like when they go through stuff. The first, the first step on how to deal with heartbreak is do not jump back into dating. Okay, we know a lot of us. I'm one of them. I mean, I, I'm not a lot. My heart don't really be getting broken that much because I feel like a lot of the times I'm the one that's breaking. I'm not saying I'm the one that's breaking the hearts, but I feel like I've had my heart broken before. But my heart don't get broken a lot. But it's not, it's not, it's not about me. It's not about me. Anyways. I would say don't jump back into dating. The reason why I say this is because you shouldn't jump back into what does hurt you. Feel what I'm trying to say? So now, boom, give you an example. If there's, if, if you got burned, if, if if the fire burned you, why don't you go back to the fire and get burned without 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 no without no super suit, without no like no 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 heat proof suit? You feel what I'm trying to say? Like you need something, like you you need protection. So before you go back into dating, you need to step back, recalibrate think about ways you could do something better and then then jump back into dating so basically step back heal then go step back heal then go don't just jump back into dating because you're going to use the your, your, your base of going back into dating is a negative you're not going into into what a positive mindset you just got your heart broken so you got you're really just going into dog dog guys out or dog girls out you're, you're angry, like your, your entire love life is negative. So, whoever you choose to attach your love to, you're gonna give them, you're, you're gonna give them a negative you, or a lower level version of you that that is angry and sad. So instead of doing that and hurting somebody because you're hurt, I will say, take your time, step back, you know, be celibate for a little while, or don't talk to nobody, whatever, whatever you choose to do. But just, bro, take a step back, jump back. Jump back into yourself, tap in with yourself, heal, figure out what you call, like what caused you to get your heart broken, what, what 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 did that person do to make you feel a certain way, what you did to that person that you could that you could be better from, what that person did to you that you could learn from and see signs of another person to not get your heart broken, or like like I said, what you've done in that situation that that person complains to you about that you can fish fix for the next person. Simple as that. Step one: Do not jump back into dating. Swipe. The next one is put all your focus into yourself. You just got your heart broken. You're sad. The only thing you should be worrying about is making sure you get back good. That's the only thing you should be, you should be worrying about. What they doing, what he doing, what she say, what, what he say, what me say. The only thing you should worry about what you say and how you feeling. And how you going to get over this and how you going to deal with this. So I would say put all the focus back onto yourself. A lot of men go to the gym. A lot of people go to the gym. A lot of people start chasing their dreams. A lot of people start if 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 your passion was drawing, you start drawing again. If your passion was designing, you start designing again. If your passion was YouTube, you start YouTubing again. You get you get back into yourself and put the focus on bettering yourself, not only spiritually, physically, financially, and we get on all the ways you can better yourself. You put all that energy you would put into that person, into that relationship, that love you put into that situation. You can now transmute it into yourself and transmute the heartbreak and turn it into positive energy. You feel me? Just cause something bad happened to you don't don't mean good could come out of it. Cause when there's bad, there's good. They, they, they both coincide without bad there's no good. Without no good, there's no bad. 
we need both of them for the world to work, to work a certain way. So if something bad happens to you, always try to find a good in it. And if something good happens to you, just know, you feel me, appreciate it because something bad can come. You you gotta you gotta be balanced. I'm a Libra, I'm about balance. You always gotta know that each end might come when it might come. So stay stay just, just stay focused. You know what I'm saying? So focus back to yourself. Just do what you know that you have to do, what you're supposed to do, and tap back into you. Put that focus on you. You you into getting this right, the mental right. Because no matter what, health is wealth. Without no wealth, there's no health. And without no health, there's no wealth. These things coincide. So feel me, you have to make sure that your mental health is right in order to move forward in life. So make sure your mental is right if you want to move forward in life. Mental right, move forward in life. Boop. Next one, swipey. Number three. Number three. Number three is the one a lot of people struggle with. There's a point in time where I struggle with this a lot. Don't lie to yourself. Stop lying to yourself. Stop blaming the other person. Stop blaming this. Stop blaming all the outside sources. Because no matter what, you are the controller of your situation. So the third one is, don't lie to yourself. Accept your flaws and the ending of the relationship. Bro, accept it, bro. You feel me? You got problems. You have problems too. You have to know that you have problems too. You're not perfect. I know you think you are. I know you think you're the, just a jolly old good goofy goober, good old good old jolly person, but you're not. <laughs> you're not. And, and that's fine, because I'm not either. And so is the person you was just with, and so the person that has happened with, and whoever you're around is not perfect either. You, we all got things we need to better and and, and better ourselves, better ourselves with. We all got problems we need to fix. We all got issues we need to, that need to be resolved. Nobody out here perfect, boy. We all got things we need to get better at. Duh. That's why you're here to get better. We're not. We're here to get better and help people get better and love and live and live life and just grow. We're here to grow. We're here to move up in the world. Moving on up to the east side. Anyways, we're here to move on up. We're here to move on up. So you know you have flaws. This person that this person knew you have flaws too. So whatever they told you, take it into consideration see where it's coming from see if that problem is true then fix it accept your flaws you're not perfect bro a lot of y'all got got anger issues a lot of y'all be over emotional i was the same way i'm not telling you nothing i was to say a lot of y'all be codependent i was very codependent before codependent uh some people be i was narcissist some people be narcissist, have narcissistic traits some people just have some people, have, some people speak wrong, some people just, just yell, some people just yell, people, some people are abusive physically and emotionally and manipulative, like, we have, so you, you, it's okay. We, 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 we all have the best upbringing, we all have trauma we need to deal with, so deal with your trauma, because you have it, so figure out what it is and deal with it, buddy. You, yes, you precious human being, your precious soul, spirit, you have issues, yes, I'm talking to you, accept them. We got make peace, accept, and let go. This means you dealing with somebody, something happened, you end up stop talking. Bro, it don't gotta be negative. Make peace with the situation, okay? Me and this person ain't work out because of this, 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 and this. That's okay. There's no issue with that. Not everybody, not not everybody's is here to be long term. Some people just here to teach you something real quick and then go make peace with like okay, that's cool. It's okay that happened. When the person have no beef, we have no problems. We good. We just didn't work out. Simple as that. Make that's that's to make peace. The ex, and make that's make peace and accepting like okay, this happened. This didn't work out. And I'm okay with it because like I said. What's meant, to, what's meant to be, will be. What's meant to work, will work. What's meant to not work, will not work. That's how it is. You will figure it out. My thing I always say is I'll figure it out. No matter what I go through my life, I always, in my brain, I'm always gonna say, I'm gonna figure it out. And guess what always happens? When, 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 when them bills come and I'm short $400, what I say, oh, I figured it out. You know what happened? I figure it out. I don't go in, oh my God, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Never, I never do that. I'm like, yo, I'm gonna figure this out. I will always figure it out, no matter what. So that's a good mantra to tell yourself when you're going through a problem. Say that I will always figure it out. Let go, as in 
let it let it fly away. Like, okay, I accept it. You can now go. I accept. I accept. I accept the problem. I accept the issues. I, I accept that it, it, it didn't last. I accept that it didn't work out. I said that I'm, I'm a little upset right now. I'm, I accept that. I make peace of the situation. Now let it fly away. Let those emotions that you had, once you accept it, let it fly away. Let it. Like, 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 I'm, I'm the emotions. And it's just. Bye bye. Let go. You gotta let go. You gotta make peace, accept it, let go. Next one. Swipey. This is the last one. This is this is this is one of the most important ones, I think. That's why I say the best for last. The best for last is be patient. Healing takes time. Do not try to rush your healing process. You don't know how long it'll take you to heal. It's not no overnight thing. Healing healing is not no overnight thing, bro. God, same thing as losing weight. Same thing as same thing as as getting smarter. Same thing as Changing your diet. None of that stuff is overnight, fly by night. It's gonna be good tomorrow. No, healing takes time. Can you stop? Anyways, yes, healing takes time. So please take your time, day by day, hour by hour, minute by minute. Take your time. Love yourself. Appreciate yourself. Be grateful that you're still here. You leave. Leave for another day. You leave to fight another day. Be grateful for that. Cause some niggas be some niggas get, get their heart broken and they, they they heart literally breaks and they and they and they be gone. They be out of they be a permanent dirt nap. You feel me? Respectfully. And you're here still to live. To, to fight another day. You should be happy about that. Appreciate that. Appreciate, appreciate the bad times. The same way you appreciate the good times. The bad times show you how strong you are. Because everybody, it, it, it be lit when it's all good. It's all fun. Ha 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 he he ha ha. When the bad times come and you still could find a way to he he ha ha in the bad times, that's when you a real soldier. My dad had a thing. It, 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 he had like a little American flag. It, it was an eagle, like, and I think I, said, I don't know why I put it, but he when he died, I had it. It says like it was a quote by Martin Luther King. It says, "Do not, do not, do not measure a man in times of joy. The best way to measure a man is how he handles handles himself or herself in times of turmoil. So you always must handle yourself well in times of turmoil." Treat it gracefully. Treat your times of turn more gracefully because those are the biggest teachers. It's easy to be happy. Make it just as easy to be happy as easy it is to be to go through something. Because life is about ups and downs. You feel me? So, that was my things. I feel like how to deal with heartbreak, you know. I've broken hearts. I've got my heart broken before. I've been sad. I've been depressed. I've been... I've been ridiculed by many. I've been, I've been bashed. I've been, I did, I, I've been through the whole nine yards of everything. So I know, you feel me? So I'm here to give you tips and tricks of what I learned as being a 24 year old young brown man on earth. Gazer, gazer, gazer. Shots over naughty. But yeah, man, that's how I deal with heartbreak. I hope you learned some. Hope you had fun. Like that was, I had fun doing that. Like I want to make my shit fun, but also like informative, because that's who I am. Like I'm serious, but I'm also fun. Like so, I mi I gotta mix it two where it's like you can watch me and learn, but it's like oh this nigga's mad entertaining. I love him. He makes it so easy to listen to him. So that's what we doing. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you get hope you deal with all that pain you got going on. I love you, but I love me more. I love me more than I love you, but I love you though. Don't forget that. It's no beef. When I say I love you more than I love you, it don't mean I don't love you. It's I love me more. Holla at your boy. Deal with that heartbreak and holla at your biggity deuces. Together this. Mwah, ha, ooh.